Welcome to the Louisiana Sea Grant series on GIS learning. Lesson one, what is GIS? GIS stands for Geographic Information System or Science, which means the physical world or space, information that has a location or place in space, and the technology and methods we use to analyze and map the places in space. There are two basic types of GIS information. Raster, like pictures from satellites, which we call imagery. And vector, any information with geographic coordinates, which we'll call everything else for now. Let's start with raster, like pictures from satellites shot out into space. Satellites orbit the planet over and over, taking photos as they cross the surface and send the pictures back down to Earth to be analyzed. We also use airplanes, helicopters, and even drones to get a closer look at things like land cover and elevation. From this information, or data, we can monitor things like deforestation and habitat loss over time. Infrared technology can show us urban hotspots, or places where buildings and streets are trapping heat. We monitor amounts and movement of pollution, and help combat forest fires using real-time tracking across large areas. Now onto vectors. Data about people, families, places, hunger and poverty, city planning and education, parks, zoos, any information with a latitude, longitude, street address, or even zip code can be mapped and analyzed using points, lines, and polygons in GIS tools. Your property and home are mapped too. Even pet registrations require a physical address. Public safety, like traffic routes and accident reports, which are all tagged with the location. Crime mapping, urban expansion and industrialization to changes in land use and air quality over time. GIS can also be used to analyze the natural world, like ecosystems, plants and animals. We use GIS to examine where and how the natural and built worlds meet including natural resource management. Farmers use GIS to monitor farm production. And when things get stormy, emergency planners use GIS to plan for disasters in the future, search and rescue during a crisis, and damage assessment and recovery. All of the information in the world, from census data to public health, computer searches, and even shopping can be captured in a map. So can the natural systems, like ecosystem processes and farming, all get fed into databases or computer stored information. That information is examined by an expert, or more likely a team of experts, who analyze the data and model the interactions and outcomes of different scenarios. They write the reports and produce their maps, which then go to other scientists, experts, and community members, who weigh the information, make the decisions, and start planning for the future. That's all there is to it. For more GIS learning presentations, visit lacgrant.org.